So I wanted to give you guys an update on journaly things. So first of all, I have been journaling crazy, like crazy, which has been wonderful. Glad to have gotten the time to have to get to write so much. Um, but I found myself constantly grabbing my journal and holding it and carrying it around everywhere I go, whether I move from the tent cabin to the fire pit or go on a walk with Fig and Bean. I like grab my journal and I'm holding it and I'm carrying it in my hand. And sometimes that's a little inconvenient because my hand is always occupied holding this. So then I thought, well, maybe I just bring my purse around. So then I started bringing my purse everywhere. But it's like, even if it's a small purse, it was still getting kind of bulky and cumbersome. So I put on my purse strap. I attached it to the back elastics. And voila. How awesome is that? So now, this whole thing is my, I'm in a really bushy area, surrounded by nine bark, and it's just not the most ideal setup, but I have the camera propped in a crook, the crook of a tree, so the tree is my tripod. So this will just have to do. <laughs> but anyways, so yeah. So that's pretty exciting. So now that I'm carrying this around as a purse, I figured might as well move my wallet in there. That way, this is all I ever have to carry, which is, you know, really minimal and maybe absurd. But here are my cards and then I have cash in the pocket. And then I managed to slip in two cartridges right there. I could even fit more back in that pocket. Um, I probably, yeah, I could probably fit four cartridges right there in that little space alone. And then of course my journal. And then, of course, my Caveco Brass Sport, which has been really the only fountain pen I've been using. I've taken 12 fountain pens. I've tried using other ones. I just really like the Caveco. And also, since I it's exposed all the time and I'm traveling around and I'm hiking, um, I don't have to worry about it. And any time that I found myself pulling out any of my other pens, I started feeling really protective and worried about them getting scratched or scuffed or broken or anything like that. So this Caveco Sport has been awesome. <sighs> I have I have not talked in front of the camera in a little while, so it always feels really awkward. At least with like a voiceover, I have time to kind of collect my thoughts and then I can watch the video and I can narrate it, but like just talking in front of a camera feels really awkward right now, like sitting out in the woods squatting in the nine bark talking to a tree <laughs> is what it looks like and it's a little strange um so anyways that's my journal so i have been um i think we've been on the road for maybe or out and about traveling camping whatnot for over two weeks now and if you watched my packing video you'll have seen that my my setup for my journal kit was rather large. I had a packed full of Delphonics medium utility pouch. And, and part of why it was so bulky is because I was traveling with a lot of extra journals to move into when I write through them. So, um, but there was a lot of other things that I traveled with, 12 fountain pens and uh, ink bottles and <laughs> just a bunch of stuff. And I'm realizing now that I've been out and about journaling, I've been predominantly writing, and then when I do something beyond that, there are things that I gravitate to and use often, and everything else has been neglected. So all the other stuff that I brought along, with the exception of the additional journals, is really silly, I am discovering. So what are the things that I have really found um, beneficial. Oh no, and I put, I had put this in my pocket with some service berries and currants because I found some on my way over here and now they are squished in my pocket. Oops. Well, that's a bummer. Anyways, I have this little mini printer. This is the Canon Ivy. There's a couple of different mini printer options. I honestly don't know if this is the best one. I got this one for Christmas and it's been fantastic. It prints out uh, photos from your phone. 
via Bluetooth and then the backing of those photos are sticky so you can peel it off and stick it in your journal and you don't even need a glue stick and it's really great and I've even found myself like taking a picture of a coffee mug and then cutting out the coffee mug and sticking it in my journal more like a sticker um, and so that's been really nice I like having that uh, with this I feel like I have also really appreciated having some sort of rechargeable battery pack um, since we are camping essentially I don't always have access to electricity um, so I get to charge this up and then if this runs out or my phone runs out I can at least charge it up once with this um, of course my partner then like pulled out a battery pack that's about the size of this that gives you like five charges for your phone and then he also proceeded to pull out like this un you know unfold this little um, um, solar panel thing and I was just like oh my gosh that's so much better than this thing but anyways it's still helpful and then the last thing that I've really enjoyed having are these scissors the size of a, of a, of a pen um, I could actually if I really wanted to travel like that I mean let's let's get really elaborate <laughs> this is a little ridiculous and unnecessary but I could do it if I wanted to but usually I don't like go hiking with this I just hike with my journal and then when I get back to our little camp then I can print out pictures from the day or whatever um, so those are this that's it I feel like these are the things that I really have used a lot on the trip so far and everything else is kind of just a unnecessary thing um, and I just really like having this little fountain pen and I haven't used any of the extra cartridges yet I've actually just been refilling it because uh, I haven't been in a place where I run out of ink and I only have access to the cartridges um, so that hasn't been a problem but yeah so that is it I'm done sorry for if I this video has been a little bit rushed I feel like a little discombobulated um, I think I just feel really weird squatting in the bushes in the forest